Hi, I'm Warren from Fusion Imaging in Sydney, Australia. We've been working in collaboration with Shapeways to design and develop a 3D printed racing drone made out of Shapeways' latest material, aluminium. The video you're about to see is the very start of our journey, which promises to be both exciting and informative as we learn the benefits of using 3D printed aluminium parts and how we can translate that into a super fast, agile and efficient racing drone. So come along for the ride. Hi guys, I'm Andrew Thomas. I'm a community manager at Shapeways. Um, it sounds a little bit loud because I'm in our Long Island City factory. Uh, and this is where we do all of our printing for nylon, uh, acrylic, and porcelain. Um, and it's really exciting uh, to be here today because we're gonna be sending out some parts to Fusion Imaging uh, for the first ever aluminum FPV racing drone. Uh, so let me show that to you and then uh, we're going to send it over to them in Australia. So this is Fusion Imaging's order. Uh, this is really exciting because this is the first time that we've printed any fully aluminum um, FPV parts. And you can see here uh, that this aluminum is solid. It's made with direct metal laser melting. Um, so similar to our uh, strong and flexible process, you can see that some of the parts right there. Um, the printer uh, heats up a bed of aluminum powder and then a laser shoots down and it melts all of that powder. Um, and then it you know, puts another layer of powder over it and it melts that. And it, it just keeps building it up, melting away you know, the parts that it needs to. Um, so you can see it, it's actually pretty detailed. Uh, it's, it's very similar to the strong and flexible plastic with the one noted exception that this is flexible. Um, so it, it, this is made of a, a laser centered nylon. And you can see right here that I, I can bend this um, fairly easily with my hand, although it is really strong. Whereas with these parts, there's no way. This is, this is much more rigid. Um, it's going to be able to take a lot more heat uh, and it's, it's just gonna be a, a, you know, a stronger design than a nylon ever could be. We've just received our shipment from Shapeways. The box itself weighs as light as a feather, which is pretty cool considering what's inside, which are our new aluminum parts for our Project Eclipse, so I'm just about to take it over to our designer's place, Hayden, and we're going to do the unboxing. Okay, so Hayden, we're about to do the unboxing. If you want to explain what everything does and what it, how it works, uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, so this is pretty exciting. We've been waiting a long time for this. We've been working on this project for quite a while in collaboration with Shapeways. Okay, so here's our first product. That there is a motor cooler. It just allows some of you guys to put higher voltages on your motors without worrying about the motors burning up. The aluminium heat sinks have been used in computer fans all the time. We thought it's just pretty cool to use 3D printing to get this done. And what That's is? a motor protector, just to protect your bells a bit. You can never fully protect your motor bell, but You'll see where it's used later on. And these? These are antenna holders. They hold your antenna not only at 45 degrees split, but also because your craft's mostly traveling forward tilted at an angle, this points backwards a little. Okay, that's just some more of those. And now for the bit that I'm excited about, which are these. Just for the record, Shapeway has been doing some pretty amazing metal prints over the years. And it's not the first time we have a metal print. But what's special about these metal prints, the laser was actually hot enough to melt the metal, aluminium in this case. You have a fused 3D printed uh, block that's comparable to a single milled block of aluminium. So that's something to think about. And then we've got the same parts, but in the normal plastic version. The plastic was basically just a test to see the material differences. Of course, it will be a lot weaker. Uh, this material is just quite a bit weaker, but about 50% there compared to injection molded parts. Okay, so there we have all our parts ready for a project eclipse um, from here on. You'll be putting this all together and we'll um, bring you another video in a few days with an update on how that's all going. Thanks Hayden.